Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Trainwell TV. We're talking about Blackstone Models HON3. Now, this is something that we're really not familiar here at Train World with this um, specific scale. We haven't really carried it, but we're looking to keep on rolling and keep on carrying the product because there does seem to be a great demand out there and we want to make sure we carry the right products for you guys, the customer. And um, it seems like beautiful product. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, Thank you. It's not a cheap product where you just get in and toss it around. This is highly detailed engines, freight cars. Mm -hmm. You have a beautiful track system now. Mm -hmm. So I really think that HON3 is something that's going to keep on building momentum. And I'm excited to partner up with Blackstone Models to really, you know, uh, keep on working on our selection for you guys out there. So, um, George, I guess let's talk about what's the difference between HON3 and HO, and can the HO uh, model train enthusiasts run HO with OE, HO and 3? Yes, that's a really common question we get a lot because there's a lot of misnomers out there and misunderstanding. So let's first talk about HO and 3, what it is. Uh -huh. HO and 3 is still HO scale. It's HO 187th, just like your standard HO equipment. Right. Now, the N3 on the end of the lane basically is designating it as N is narrow gauge and 3 stands for 3 foot between the rails. You could also designate it as HON 36 for 36 inches. That's where the HON 30 is 30 inches between the rails since oh. 2 and a half doesn't really flow off the tongue. Right, right, right. So HON 3, and that's where a lot of the or misunderstandings come from. So to kind of illustrate that, we've got a standard gauge piece of HO Cotto Unitrack here, and then we have a narrow gauge piece of our HON 3. So you can see the difference between the width of the rails, right. how far apart they are. This is four foot, eight and a half inches. This is three foot. Hmm. Now, because the rails are closer together, the idea behind narrow gauge was because then the expense of building the narrow gauge was a lot less because they were building on mountains, tight radius curves, and so the equipment is actually physically smaller as well because hmm. they're also going up steeper grades, which means it's perfect for modeling okay. because as modelers, it's that kosher. Eight, <laughs> that 89-foot passenger car just doesn't quite look right going around an 18-inch radius. Right, right. But the Blackstone Models 30-foot refrigerator cars or box cars really look ideal at home negotiating that tight curve. Interesting. Okay. And so with also with modeling, we do a lot of steeper grades than the real railroads do, 2, 3, 4%. That's standard in narrow gauge. That's a common grade in narrow gauge. So it, it lends itself well to modeling. Um, the HON3 market is actually growing. We get lots of new customers all the time. Um, we're actually working on a couple of new locomotives, our K36 and our K28, and both of yeah. those can be seen running today in the Durango and Silverton Railroad and the Cumbers and Toltec, which owe their lineage to the uh, Denver and Rio Grande Western narrow gauge of the Colorado area, right, right, which right. is our home, where we live. We actually <laughs> build and work all of our stuff in Colorado, so it's really dear, near and dear to our hearts, which is why we've done it in a nice well detailed ready to run model that the customer can take put it on their track and actually run and track was one of the things that we're working on yeah so looking forward where we've got a straighten a curve right now we're working on turnouts to really expand the track but it's based on the Cotto unit track model so we know it's a very proven reliable system yeah I mean the track is just gorgeous um, we sell a ton of it in HO and now to have a similar type track in HO and 3 snaps together quick mm -hmm. easy um, I mean I mean someone could really get into this with without a problem yeah it's um, and the discerning modeler can really enjoy it because we pack a lot of detail into it for example the locomotive we have here on the table uh, is part of our C19 locomotive build that we did uh, a few years back we do still have a lot of these locomotives here uh, because we did over order to make sure they were available but the uniqueness of this one was as this locomotive represents before the 1925 rebuild. Okay. And so, as a consolidation, these were actually known as Class 70s. Wow. And so, we pack a lot of that detail and we pay attention to that and we try to model the locomotive as accurately as possible. And to address your other question you had, we talked about adding it into an HO uh, layout. Right, right. It's right at home next to a standard gauge layout because in the old days, labor was cheap. And mm -hmm. so, a lot of times, because the narrow gauge couldn't be going all over the country, 
they would actually park tracks of HO narrow gauge, I mean of narrow gauge next to the standard gauge and they would manually unload the cars into the standard gauge cars for delivery around the world and vice versa. Huh. And so if you have a nice big HO empire then you could have a small section to implement to and it can be a universal industry because now any bla any of the uh, narrow gauge cars that you run in you would then have a similar car in standard gauge that can run up next to it and they would just manually load it back and forth right right right, right. so it really lends itself well to adding into any layout uh, in HO scale or because we talked about it ideal for modeling you can do a nice modeled uh, HO and 3 layout with mountainous scenery tunnels trees, everything, and it really, really lends itself well. And then on top of it, one of the biggest hurdles we had was a lot of the narrow gauge stuff available before Blackstone models came along. It didn't necessarily run well. It was mm. it took a lot of tinkering with it, and that's one of our goals with Blackstone was to make sure that it was very, very reliable, ran well, because nothing's more frustrating than getting something, taking it out, sure. and putting it in, it doesn't run well. That's the whole point, is right. running your trains. And so we've done that. And so we've got some of the freest rolling trucks in the industry on our freight cars. We've got some of the best drive lines and mechanisms in the locomotives. We also include our sound system from Soundtracks included in the locomotives. And so because of this, there's been a lot of built up demand and, and it's growing as people more and more yeah. discover it. And so that's why it's important. We mentioned the locomotives, the K36 and the K28 that we're in the process of working on right now to try to get those out, that you get your pre-orders in. Yeah. with can here at Train World. So yeah, make sure you get those pre-orders in because a lot of dealers out there and manufacturers base the pre-orders about demand. So if the demand isn't there, a manufacturer may not produce it or a dealer may not stock up on it. So make sure you get your pre-orders in and you know, we promise, you know, I'm sure many of you guys have pre-ordered from us before. You just uh, submit the order. We don't charge anything. You know, you just place the order and you know, when it when we get it in, We'll give you a call, we'll let you know that uh, we'll ship it out, and then we'll charge you at that point. So it's a very great pre-order system that we have. We don't charge you up front, which is nice to know. And, you know, make sure you get the pre-orders in, because these are some of the hottest engines and, I guess, biggest pre-orders that you've seen so far in, you know, Blackstone models. Yes, sir. Which is good to hear. Which is great. And, yeah. uh, you know, we've with our locomotives, we've done uh, now a three three separate runs of our K27 Mikado, right. and they're just about sold out. Wow. So wow. three runs of locomotives. You can imagine how many locomotives that is. Sure. This is our second run of Consolidation C19, so the demand is growing. Right. And so make sure we get these in and you know, get your orders in while yeah. they're, you know, while they're being built yeah. to make sure you get yours. Now, go to trainworld.com, go to the Manufacturers tab, and Blackstone Models where we already announced all the pre-orders, so we're taking pre-orders now. We still have a couple of pieces, and I'm gonna be working with George to make sure we bring in as much product as we can from Blackstone Models. So Absolutely. Um, definitely be on the lookout, because we have a lot of great things to come. So let's see it run. Yeah, yeah sure. That's one of the things we're proud about, is the fact that our locomotives run very, very well. So let's take a quick tour around this small simulated lo or layout here. And one of the things we do have is we do have an optical driven cam on the C19 to guarantee that you're getting the four chuffs per revolution every time. Wow. I'm assuming you're using a Soundtracks Dakota. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Nothing but the best. That's it. Wow, very cool. So this is a very realistic speed for a narrow gauge. So then now the layout that always seems too small now doesn't seem as big because your locomotive and your train is running slower. Right. Look at the detail. Just unbelievable on the freight cars alone. It's just uh, very highly detailed stuff. Beautiful. Yep. We try to put everything in there. Uh, we try to make them as unique as the individual road numbers themselves. Very so nice. just to kind of show you, this is one of our uh, newest releases, the refrigerator car. And so we've got a lot of detail. You've got all the grab irons on it. You've got all this step and the uh, cut bars, everything on the end. Uh, we've got a lot of underbody detail, you know, all the truss rods, brake lines, stuff like that under each of these cars. Let's see if you could zoom in on this. Look at the detail. It's an HON3 freight car. 
beautiful. I mean, it's more detailed than uh, a lot of other manufacturers. Just uh, unbelievable. Very nice work. Very nice work. This is Goose. Underbody work. Just unbelievable. Again, you could get your Blackstone models at trainworld.com. Shop online 24-7. And make sure you get your pre-orders in on these uh, two engines coming out. Yes, sir. And uh, when do you th expect them to be? Um, they haven't quite gone to tooling yet. We're expecting okay. to be able to do that here shortly. So we're probably looking just after the first for some time. Okay. You know, we'll have some more updates as the tooling process uh, uh, moves on and we'll get some samples to test out and make sure that they run as smoothly as they all as we expect. Awesome. Thank you so much, George. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.